Hello, Vasily from Converge.io here. Today we're going to go over deploying applications in Converge. For starters, you're going to want to decide what type of application you want to deploy. Converge allows you to deploy our Shiny, Dash, as well as Voila. So once you've decided what you want to deploy, you go ahead and add an app.py, app.r, or Jupyter Notebook to your environment that's gonna encapsulate what it is that you want your application to be. Now, <clears throat> I've already got this MNIST project that I've been developing, and this is going to be where I actually deploy my code. Now, <clears throat> in this case, I'm gonna go with an app that lets me explore TSNE around the MNIST data set. So here, I've added my app, which is a simple Python file called tsne.py. And you can edit it right here through the browser. You can also open up a workspace and develop it actively in there before deploying. Needless to say, once you're finished and you have the full app and any imports that you're going to need also added to the directory, you can head on over to the apps section where you can then publish a new app, select the type of app, provide the name of the file that you want to actually run, and give it a name. Here you can also change the compute and image that's gonna be allocated, as well as specify a particular data set or commit version that you wanna use. And that's it. Hit publish, and this will automatically start provisioning the environment that you selected and deploying the application and giving it a port to listen on. Once that's finished initializing, what you'll end up with is a fully hosted application. In this case, we deployed the TSNE. I already have one running to show us here. And that can then be anything you wish. In this case, it's a fully interactive 3D clustering dashboard that allows me to select points inside of these clusters and understand how they were uh, how they were trained and classified. You can make it interactive. You can have it right back to the file system. You can really do anything you wish. Uh, this is just a very robust feature available inside of Converge for you to interact with the data and be able to get more value out of the platform. Once it's deployed, it's always on and always running. You can share these by email or via link, and that will actually deploy a web app, that will share a web application with whoever you share the link with that only shows the view of the app. You will not see a link into Converge. They won't be able to interact with the rest of the file system or project or anything else for that matter. And they won't even be aware that this is deployed in Converge. It'll just be a web hosted app that you can share internally or externally, uh, depending on your network configuration. And that's just one other feature built into Converge. Thanks for watching.